Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in James 2 verse 14. What good is it, my brothers, if a man claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save him? Well, friends, faith is more than the attitude of the heart. It's more than your confession. Faith should be active. Well, if you have faith in God, act it out. Don't just say it. Because if you just say it and yet do nothing about it, what good will this be to you? What benefit will you get out of it? Friends, faith should be acted out for us to get the best and the benefit out of what the Lord is promising us. Amen. So, what did the Lord tell you today? When you woke up this morning and uh, you prayed and the Lord assured you that He is your healer, how did you respond? Are you still living in fear? Wondering whether your sickness will grow or worse? Or have you received your healing and act accordingly? Friends, act it out. Hallelujah. Well, you can read in scripture, friends, the miracles that happened during the times even of the apostles. When the apostle would say, stand up, well, even the layman would stand. Amen. Because the layman had faith to believe and had the faith that he would be healed and he would act it out. And so he would stand up. And so today, friends, act it out. Hallelujah. Faith is not just in the mind. Faith has to be active. Well, I cannot overemphasize the need for us, friends, to act out our faith. That's why even the Apostle James was saying that, no, faith is not passive. It has to be acted out if you want the best out of what the Lord is promising us today. Do you believe that God is God? If you do, then listen to Him. Amen. And do what He says because you believe in Him. You have faith that He will do exactly what He had promised. But if you don't believe in Him, then well, what else can we do? But to acknowledge that your faith is dead. Amen. If you don't act out your faith, it is dead. It is useless. So, get the best out of what God had promised. Amen. He promised, friends, that He will heal, He will provide, He promised that He will restore, He promised that He will do all things for us because He called us as His own. And so if we believe, then believe it out and live accordingly. Amen. Well, a lot of people, friends, they say that they are believers. They are faithful believers. And yet the way that they live their lives, they are living in fear always being tormented always being oppressed there is no deliverance why because they just don't believe friends that god can deliver them they are still looking for someone to help them is god not enough and if you need someone friends god will send that someone to you you don't even have to look for the person to minister to you if you need deliverance, God will send it. Just believe. Amen. And so, again, friends, listen to what James was saying. What good is it if a man claims to have faith and yet he does not act it out? He lacks in deeds. So do it, friends. Do it. Act out your faith today and see what the Lord will do amen unless you do unless you act it out friends you won't see the power of god manifested in you so let's act it out friends hallelujah so may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up his countenance on you and give you his peace god bless see you again next time bye